the obligatory Maverick stop on my way out of town. It's like 11.30 at night. Sometimes I wonder what the heck I'm doing. Gonna make a five, six hour drive and be hiking when the sun comes up. Things we do for sheds, huh? Come along, friends. Hope you'll enjoy this one. So how's your day? My day's good. I uh, got out to move a rock out of the road, which that in and of itself was no big deal. Um, didn't put the emergency brake on, which is like, oh yeah, that's not good, whatever. Tracker rolls away. I uh, tried to jump in the window, pull the emergency brake. If I run myself over, I didn't run myself over. And then this happens. Run into a tree, smash my back door in, bust out my window, blow glass everywhere. So, uh, pretty excited overall. I think it, uh, this trip's turning out pretty well. So I was like thinking, oh, if I can get a couple browns, this trip will pay for itself. Wonder how much that's gonna cost. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, sometimes. So I guess I'll show you guys more what happened. I went to go up that hill. And <laughs> um, my tractor stopped, wouldn't go. So, uh, I figured I had to move that rock. Forgot to put the emergency brake on. Got out and moved that rock, which was the rock that was holding my tractor in place. So, like an idiot, it starts rolling backwards down here. Goes over that big old rock. I jump in the window, try to pull the emergency brake, and it comes back and slams into this tree. Busts out the back window totally smashes in the, the back door and uh, just jacks it. So I guess I'm going shed hunting. What else do you do? I'm not going to go home and cry about it. I'm going to park up here and find somewhere. I won't be able to lock it. Got all my stuff in it. But I'm just going to pull up the end of this remote road and hopefully nobody messes with it. Maybe I'll back it up to a tree so people can't get in and out of it. Oh well. Part of life, I guess. Now I can, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just throw this thing in the dumpster and go get a new tree. Well, I'm finally ready to start hiking. Um, this is my security system. Back my tractor clear up into this tree. Hopefully it'll deter anybody who wants to reach in there and grab all my, my goodies. Quite the rig. Quite the camp. So I guess I'm gonna camp right here. I'm gonna go hit it all day today. Um, then I'll come back tonight and probably sleep here and then I'll, depending on how I do, I'll either move or something tomorrow. I'm not going home. I was gonna go home and I'm like, forget it. I'm gonna go find some horns. So, wish me luck. <clears throat> Walking along down in this little spot and uh, I found a water hole that I've never found before, never seen before. I'm kind of blown away by it. it. Seems like a weird place, you know, I've been here a lot. Um, and uh, classed up the elk trail coming down to it. <laughs> That bad boy. Hard white. Last year's horn. Pretty good. Step one to paint off my uh, incident this morning. So I'm walking down this little trail, not thinking anything. Kind of wandering and waddling, looking at my feet. Tired. And uh, just walking, no big deal. I get like to right here and I'm like, boom, that is a stud bull. Look at that shit. Man. Oh, he's, oh, he's big. He's big. He's long on everything. That's a big hard white. Oh, big old banana out. Sword on him. Yes. 
Getting a lot of it. So I'm out here hiking and uh, noticed I had a bloody nose and don't have anything to fix it with. So uh, I was lucky to find one of these tabs on the ground right here. You guys ever seen these? I don't know what they are. I think they're pine nuts, but you can just put them right in your nose. Keep hiking. Don't even have to slow down. I don't know what it is, guys. I don't usually find deadheads. I've been on them this year. Oh my gosh. Look at this deer. Look at that thing. He's so palmated and big. <laughs> I was gonna try to do a little bit more of a rundown, but God, he looks like a strip buck. Crazy. Check that thing out. He's so heavy. So gnarly. Jeez. Look at that mass. That's like, seriously, one of the heaviest deer I've ever seen. We're not done. I'm about back to where I had my fiasco this morning and I found one hiding. And this one's hiding. Check it out. Got a big third on it, like a giant third. I can barely, man, I had to walk right on it. It's got like a 25 or 26 inch third. I'm gonna pick this puppy up here. I just gotta talk to you guys for a minute. Hold on, I gotta see if that's all. <laughs> um, I need to talk to you guys and tell you guys, I don't know, I'm gonna preach. So if you don't like it, maybe fast forward a little bit, but the power of uh, optimism is a crazy thing. Um, you have to have be able to have a positive attitude. Like today, honestly got off to a terrible start for me I got down here didn't find the elk in the morning smashed smashed my track you guys saw that put an AC unit in the back window but I decided I was just gonna keep going I hate it when people use themselves as good examples of things that's a pet peeve of mine so I guess I'm not gonna do that but just smiling through stuff and just grinding through stuff would make your life so much easier than dwelling on the difficult things that happen. We're all gonna go through hard crap, that's part of life. Um, and I'm not trying to get too, uh, whatever, preachy, I guess, but just smile through it. Just keep pumping, just keep going, and I promise things will work out better for you. You have to forgive me, I got a mouthful of seeds, but I'm happy, because something good just happened. Yes, I'm driving down the road, changing spots. And Lord Brown. Yes! Oh, heck yeah. Brown six is right off the road, babe. Oh, I love it. Thank you.
Nothing better than that right there. Right off the road. Don't mind me, I'll continue hiking. <laughs> I love it, killers. So something occurred to me just now as I was picking up that shed off the side of the road. Maybe I shouldn't drive with my track record this week and video. Anyway, I'm by myself. There's nobody around. I haven't seen another car in this area the whole time I've been here. Yet, I see a shed on the side of the road. I jump out and I run up to it. Like it's gonna go somewhere or I gotta beat someone to it. You guys ever do that? I just think it's kind of funny. Maybe it's the excitement of like a little kid finding an Easter egg, but who knows? Maybe that's enough speculation. Well, I'm kind of winding this trip down. I've been down here by myself for a couple days. I had a lot of incidents, but I've had a good time too. It's funny, after being out here for a couple days, especially by yourself, stuff starts to get a little loopy. And you start thinking about all the comforts of home that you're missing out on. That's just funny, and like I've been thinking the whole day about getting a burger. I didn't bring enough food on this trip, which is very uncharacteristic of me. Um, it's about three, maybe four in the afternoon. I'm gonna hike until it gets, starts to get dark, and then I'm out of here. I'm gonna run down and got a Burger King I can hit on the way home. That's gonna be good. Um, and then just get back to life, go see my boys for a couple days. Promised my little boys I'd take them swimming tomorrow, so we're gonna go do that, and that'll be fun. But this will probably be the end of this video unless I pick something else up between now and when I get back to the truck, the track, whatever. It's still a couple miles away. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll get something between now and then. But overall, I had a pretty good trip. Um, I picked up three big hard whites and a big brown. So, you know, probably $500, $400 with an antler, which for a two day trip isn't bad. Um, I think I already found a new back door for my tracker, so I think I'll be okay there. I only probably have to buy one. So, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, keep tuning in. I love doing these videos, I love doing the shed your thing. I'm just having a blast. Um, I hope it keeps going, I hope it keeps rolling, and I appreciate your guys' support. I can't tell you that enough. You guys watching these videos is the reason I'm out here pushing it all the time. So thank you. I appreciate you guys, and um, you'll be seeing more of me.